Yeah, hello. This is Martin from the photoacademy.nu and on this video review I like to show you some special stuff I did on this photo walk. Here we are on the Drottningholm. This is the place where the Queen's Palace is placed and it's a very historic place it has a history a long time back in the past and yeah I will show you what I did here on this photo walk. Um, you can shoot landscape and you can shoot all this stuff from the palace and the houses around and um, yeah, but I did a special kind of shooting here. This one is a silhouette and it's a little bo bit more like a landscape, but the most time I shot structures, textures and some details. You can see a lot of photos of this place of the palace, the houses around and all this traditional stuff you know but it's also a lot of fun to play with your camera with your lenses like this one I shot a lot of these images you will see in this photo a video review with the 7200 and here I played with the zoom ring uh, I like the structure of this little so stones but I also like the effect you have from the zoom ring and uh, this is a very heavy effect but I also like this kind of turning around of the stones and uh, this is the heaviest effect I could produce and this I like very well. It's a, it's a very special structure for me. I like this effect with the high contrast. And yeah, this is uh, also what you can do on the photo walk if you are on these kinds of places. Um, as I said before, I shot a lot with the 7200, the most um, between 100 and 200. Uh, probably wide open. Some other stuff I shot with a uh, 50 millimeter, um, something in between 1.4, 2.8, the most of the time. And uh, yeah, <laughs> here you have the snow, but I like this special structure, these forms you have here from the from the bushes there. <clears throat> and as I said, I will show you a lot of details I find I found here on the Drottning Holm. And uh, I love this lamp. <laughs> I shot a lot of this lamp uh, as you can see here with the with the palace mirroring in the in the light ball and it's a lot of fun to shoot this especially with the big telephoto you have a mirroring effect from the landscape behind you have the clouds and the reflection of other kinds uh, of stuff around them um, especially the the uh, mirroring of the landscape between uh, behind me I like here you have uh, <clears throat> a lot of light going through this ball and it's a special kind it's a special effect with the palace behind and yeah, you, uh, you have another detail of this little horse. As the, this I shot with the 200. 
you have the compression of the telephoto lens so you have um, a lot of the horse and nearly nothing of the palace I like this combination with the colors and the wall and the windows from the palace yeah, and uh, it's another detail from one of the houses it's the, it's the old house with the canoe here and here you have a detail from the roof of the palace with the crown and the Swedish flag the Swedish triangle blowing in the wind and uh, this is the border to the garden part of the palace I like this light shining in this uh, yellow stuff there <coughs> it's a very special light, light and I loved it you have the clouds behind the sky, uh, the structures of the sky. I shot this very wide open. And it's a very special light going around there in, in the structures. Here you have the horse again. And yeah, these are stuff you can shoot if you're on the place like this. As I said on the beginning of the video review, you can shoot the palace, you can shoot everything you already have seen on the postcards or on the catalog or some tourist guides. But why not shooting other stuff like this dead tree here with the blue sky behind or a little more landscape from the same tree. So you have uh, the other trees around in the in the format here. Yeah, and uh, this is it. This is my special impression from this place. It's a it's a very different variant from what you can do on those traditional places. But uh, I I think this is also a, something you can do and uh, I hope that's another kind of photography you can use for your own photo walks and uh, I say thanks for watching we have another photo vi video review soon and uh, we will have another photo review from my friend and Lyser. And then we will go back to uh, the technical stuffs and all that what we had before we did this photo walks. Yeah, so stay tuned on our side and we will see what's going on in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.